Today we are hiking to Sidi Khola. This is Dobo. It was difficult to resist him from explorations and the boy wanted to lead in this hike. So he joined us along with a local in Manedara, Thome Daju. We have reached Sirikola. Dobo seems to be very excited about coming to a new place. Located at an altitude of 6,900 feet, Sirikola experiences freezing winters and drenched monsoons. So the best time to come here is March to April or from October to mid-December. Serikola is a small scenic village located about 87 km from Darjeeling. It takes about 4 to 5 hours of tiring journey from Darjeeling due to poor road conditions. It is in fact the last and the furthest polling station of the Darjeeling constituency. The nearest town is Rimbek which is 7 km from the place. Rimbek itself is the least populated small town with few shops and some houses. It is a thrill to plunge into the icy cold water of the Sri Khola river or even try out fishing. There are trout as well as other fishes in the river. If time permits, it is worth visiting Jarayu Pokhri which is regarded as a sacred lake by the locals. Seri Khola is situated on the foothills of Singalila National Park beside the Sri Khola River. Seri Khola is a sleepy village on the trek route to Sandakpu via Gurdum and to Falut via Gorkhe and Rammam. The Serikola Bridge is the only pathway to the upper parts of the district, like Rammam, Falut, etc.
Being a hanging bridge, it cannot ply any heavy vehicle. So a new bridge construction is going on. But the existing bridge is one of a kind. Serikola is also a paradise for wildlife explorers. It is located in the foothills of the Singalila National Park which houses animals like red panda, Himalayan black bear, barking deer and many other Himalayan exotics. It is also a perfect destination for bird watching. You can see wonderful shades of color during spring in March April since the forest is full of magnolia, chestnuts, oaks, pines and rhododendrons. Now it's time to walk back to Rimbik and then to Manedara. It's 7 km through the road till Rimbik through the lower Sepi Gaon. The Sri Kola River is flowing on the left. Some of these hills lie in the state of Sikkim. The weather changed and it is now cloudy. We are close to Lower Sepi village. Most of the houses in this village bear a signature of craftsmanship in the facade and architecture. Even the common people give you a bright smile when they meet. Many people here collect trailing plants and grasses for domestic farm animals. Dairy products are very fresh in this region. Dobo was very excited after a long walk citing this guy is playing badminton but we had to rush so he couldn't enjoy this time. The journey was almost concluded and we were very near to Rimbik. It was an exciting hike and it is recommended for beginners.
A 14 km round journey is quite easy and usually takes around 5 to 6 hours for amateurs.